to do a little quick video about um, how to trim a dog's nails. Um, this is Shelby. She's a German Shepherd mix and she has black nails. So I'm just going to show you how to carefully trim a dog's nails um, to keep them from bleeding and what to do if they do bleed. So you're going to take the paw and you want to push the hair back as well as you can. And you can see a little bit right here where it starts to sort of hook. The edge, so we're just going to take the tip off and then we're going to cut back just a little bit more at a time, kind of a chisel it down. That's the safest way to trim the nails. Let's get started. There we go. Let's see. I'm just going to start taking a little bit off, and then we're just going to take a little bit more at a time. And that way, if you do hit the vein, it'll only bleed a tiny bit instead of just taking a big cut. Just going to kind of try to see where it hooks a little bit. We're just going to take that off, maybe just a little tiny bit more. And if you have nice uh, sharp clippers, you can see that you can just take off a little bit at a time. Good girl. You just want to be super careful with if you're working with a dog with black nails because you can't see where the vein is. So just want to err on the side of caution and just take a little bit off at a time. I think that looks pretty good for her. Let's get a good look at her. Mm -hmm. see her. You can see where that tip is, so we're just going to cut off that tip right there. Just make it straight across. You want to err on the side of caution. Just take a little bit off, and then you can always take a little bit more. Good girl. Very good girl. Are clear nails. You can very easily see where the vein is or the quick and where her nails need to be trimmed. The most important thing to remember is that you never want to cut into the pink part. You only want to trim where the white is. No matter how long the um, vein or the quick is, you don't want to cut into it. The less your dog's nails get clipped or the older they get, the longer that vein will grow out. So you do always want to make sure that the most important thing to look for is the vein and not necessarily how long the dog's nails actually are. As you can see, hers are pretty grown out and they definitely need trimmed. I just wanted to give you a good view of a clear nail and uh, where that vein is. While trimming your dog's nails at home, if you do happen to cut into the quick or um, the vein and it does bleed, there's products that you can buy that will stop the bleeding. At home, you can use flour or cornstarch, but more effective would be something such as the Quick Stop. It's a styptic powder, and there's different brands that make it, but basically you're looking for a styptic powder. You can either pour some in the lid and actually take the dog's nail and stick it on there, or you can just grab a pinch with your finger and just stick it right onto the dog's nail. And again, this is definitely something that I always recommend having around because it does work much better than cornstarch or flour. But if you don't have any of this around, you can use the cornstarch or flour.